Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to remind you that I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I will not get, be able to go live. So what I'm going to do is read a. Uh, I'm going to read Psalms, chapter 103, um, and it is titled. The theme is, uh, and the author is David. The theme is that God's great love for us, what God does for us, tells us what he is really like. And I know this phone is going to be shaky, so I'm, I don't want it to do that. But, let me see. I'm going to, and that's my fingers. I'm just going to maybe set it there, try to as I read. Um, Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Now, remember, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, we have talked about David, and David is a man after God's own heart. So, um, the this is things that he has written, and, um, and he's written about God, to God, you know, and a lot of things, um, well, it, for himself, you know, a lot of things happened in his life. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and read. Um, Let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Let all, let's see. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful. He is slow to get angry and filled with unfailing un, and he's filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain anger angry forever. He does not punish us for our sins. He does he does not deal harshly with us as we deserve, for his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him, for he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers. We bloom and die. The wind blows and we are gone, as though we have never been here. But the love of the Lord remains forever. For those who fear him, his salvation extends to the children's children of those who are faithful to his covenant, of those who obey his commandments. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there he rules over everything. Praise the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who carry out his plans, listening for each of his commands. Yes, praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve him and do his will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created, everything in all his kingdom. Praise the Lord. Lord, I just want to praise you, God, and I just want to just give you praise and honor for everything you're doing. Father, as I read the scripture, it just brings more hope and more joy to my life, and I pray that it does also, that 
whoever watches this reading this morning will feel the freedom that God that you give will give to them and it's in your word that you're not a harsh God you're not a mean God you forgive you are a loving God like a father who loves his children and it's just so much it's Lord you know it's just so much confirmation and I just opened up the Bible this morning and I just you know I chose the scripture to read and then when I go to, and this is the first time I read it is reading it now and I'm just you know and it is confirmation it's just things that we have talked about in the past few days about David and you know but you know this is just so good Psalms chapter 103 you know if let us praise him and may I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all of our sins. And he heals all of our diseases. He redeems us from death. And he crowns us with love and tender mercies. He fills our life with good things. And our youth is renewed like the eagle's. And to the ones that are treated unfairly, he gives righteousness and justice. And remember we talked about Moses was the one that brought God to the people about how Moses was the only one that went up and saw the fire and actually got to see because if anybody else would touch the mountain or whatever and you know and it's here in this scripture you know it's so everything in the scripture goes back and confirms it because um, it says he revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel and the Lord is compassionate and merciful. He's slow to get angry. And he's filled with unfailing love. Unfailing love. Unfailing. That means it never fails. His love never fails. There's so much love. He will not constantly accuse us. And he will not remain angry forever. He does not punish us for all our sins. He does not dwell harshly with us as we deserve. We deserve so much more for our sins, but he does not deal harshly with us. Uh, he, he has unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the mountains. Verse 11 is like, okay, how, what about fear in the Lord? Um, you know, fear, having fear in the Lord is serving the Lord. And I know I'm probably, I'm sorry. I probably had that over there. I was trying to read, but I mean, this just opens up so much. It op this opens up so much to my eyes. He, and you know, he, he has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. That's a long ways. They're gone. You know, they're gone. Our sins are gone from the east to the west. The Lord is like a father to his children. He's tender and compassionate to those who, who fears him. He knows how weak we are. He knows what we um, go through. As a vessel, we are weak. But he is so much strong. 
he gives us so much strength and just take your Bible and read Psalms chapter 30 no I'm sorry Psalms chapter 103 it will just bless you the words will just come alive on the page because the Bible is the living Word of God. And y'all know we serve a living God. Jesus is alive. Uh, the Holy Spirit is alive. God is alive. We don't serve a dead God. We don't serve a statue or, you know, an idol. Our God is alive. And well... He's so well that he takes care of so many, every one of us. So how much, how much big is our God? I just, um, this scripture has just blessed me so much. And then I read uh, Meyer's scripture this morning in the Philippine, Philippine, in the Philippians. And, uh, you know, the words, it just blessed me. Uh, I turn, I just hit that this morning because uh, I've got to get ready. I've got a few more shipping items to ship out, and I said, "Well, let me see. You know, let me hear what she has to read." And it just blessed me so much. And uh, so, anyway, I just want to let y'all know that I'm just reading the scripture today, and I will not be live and. Um, so tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, no, today's Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday, and I will see y'all between 10 and 15. 10 and 10 15, I hope. And praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank the Lord um, that my grandkids are home. They were so happy to be home. And I just thank y'all again for coming to my channel. Give God the glory give God, I just give God all the glory, and I, I see that he's moving on people's hearts and their lives, and, and especially he's moving on me. That's the main thing, you know, is to make sure you take that log out of your own eye before you try to take it out of somebody else's. And, uh, you know, like I said, as I read this, it's just I could read Philippians, uh, what Myra read, over and over. I read it, I mean, I listened to it three times. It just had so many um, promises. Uh, Paul chose to... <coughs> he said if he died, if he lived... It would be okay, but if he died, it would be better. But he chose to live so that he would be able to help the city to, to draw closer to God and to be able to minister to them so that they would be stronger in their faith. And, you know, so, you know, there's Paul, a man laying down his life for Jesus like these women that we talk about and you know we now as a group I, I am considering that we are laying our life down for Jesus and I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and I'm going to be quiet now I've got to go so I will say amen and God bless each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all in the morning.